it's, it's playing, it's rolling. Yeah, look at that. Back. Yes. Look at the audio as well. Audio. <sighs> right, okay. Hello everybody, my name's Luke. And I'm Sean. Welcome to Buybox. Um, this is the first bit part video. It's not because that was uh, we're here to talk to you today about a build we're going to put together. We're going to create a monster. It's going to be amazing. Tell me about it. Um, tell me, oh, we haven't done the killer V, but... A few years ago, here at Buybox, we created the Killer V. Uh, at the time, it was the fastest retail PC money could buy, using only the top components and most expensive. Um, Sean here built it. Uh, the video, it's right up here, if you want to take a look. Um, but what we decided to do for 2017 is take that idea, drag it kicking and screaming into 2017, uh, just make it bigger, make it better, make it faster, make it more ugly, in a good way. Dangle it with fucking RGB. <laughs> What's all word is medangle? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're basically just going to try and build the fastest possible retail PC we can put together. Um, yeah, the, at its core, it's a PC that anybody can put together. Um, you don't need a special license for liquid nitrogen cooling, for example, huh? like a certain hulking man from the Midlands. Okay, so let's jump straight into the components. Um, the logical place to start is going to be the motherboard. What have you chosen, Sean? Uh, we've chosen the Asus Rampage 5 10 year anniversary edition. It's, in my opinion, it's the best board on the market. It's the only board worth putting in a system like this. You know, you name it, this board's got it. X99 is, it supports quad SLI, 128 gigs of RAM, full overclocking features. It's, it's the, the go to board for extreme systems, basically. Take note of the Quad SLI, that'll come up later. Onto the CPU. Why don't you tell us what CPU's going in, Sean? Okay, so we're going to put in the i7 Extreme uh, Broadwell E6950X, which is currently the most expensive consumer grade processor on the market. That's a 10 core processor. You know, it's, it's primed for a system like this. It's great for overclocking. Uh, we're going to squeeze as much as we can out of it. Overclocking, take note of this. <laughs> um, so, memory, I guess. Everybody needs memory. My grandma's memory is shit. This memory that we're going to use is not shit. What are we going to use, Sean? We're going to use Corsair LPX 3200 MHz, DDR4. We're going to go a little bit over the top and put 128 gig in it. 128? Yeah. Just gig. because we can. Just because the board supports it. And why not? Why not? Why not? That is the attitude with this system. Why? <laughs> why the hell? That's why it's called Overkill. It's called Overkill. We haven't mentioned that it's called Overkill. But now it's called Overkill. It's called Overkill. It's Overkill. <laughs> overkill. <laughs> Overkill, <laughs> ma, 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 monster kill. <laughs> Unreal Tournament, great game, great game. Okay. My dad will agree. Why do I keep mentioning my family? Oh. Don't fucking know. All of these components, there's an absolute shitload there. We're gonna need the large space to house them, right? So yeah. what, what chassis are we going for? Chassis, we're gonna go with the Thermaltake Tower 900. So it was brand new out on the market. I've not seen many builds in this case, so we thought we'd get one in. We'd strip it down, dismantle it see what we can put in it. it you know it's big enough for two loops it's it's perfect for a, a big system like this with quad titans there's room for two 480 rads it, it literally is one of the biggest cases on the market one of the most versatile cases. so this thing is absolutely massive like, it looks like an aquarium it looks you like could an aquarium you yeah. could fill it it wouldn't with look water. out of place in an arcade stick your goldfish in it maybe not while the titans are running no submerged system submerged system hey that's, that's another, another video right submerged there. system yeah. So all of these components are going to draw down a lot of power. Um, so what are we going to use, Sean, to power all these things? So to go in the system, we've chosen the EVGA 1600 watt T2 titanium rated power supply, which has more than enough power for four titans and an overclocked i 1600 watt. That's crazy. Okay, so um, on the storage, so a beastly, a beastly PC, we need a load of space, load of drives in it. Um, what have we got, Sean? Yeah, well, we want it to boot fast, so we've gone with two, two terabyte Samsung 850 Evo drives. Four uh, TBs of SSD. Four space. terabytes of SSD space. Oh my God. Uh, so not only that, but we've, we've put them in RAID 0 as well, so we've essentially combined the two drives into one. It, it's perfect for a system like this. We want it to boot fast, we want it to run fast. Yeah. You need SSDs in it. Obviously, four TBs for a standard PC is more than enough storage, but this isn't just a standard PC. So, hard drive options, 
what have we gone for? So we've gone for two Seagate Barracuda Pros. These are 10 terabyte hard drives. Two of them? Two of them, so 20 terabytes in total. It's ridiculous. 20? Yeah, I mean, these have got a 256 <laughs> megabyte cache. Um, the 7200 RPM, they've been redesigned from the ground up by Seagate essentially. There's, there's no other drive on the market at the moment that, that we'd want to put in a system like this. Think of what you can do with a lot of storage. All those Steam games. <laughs> and other things. Other things. Other things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, what else is there to talk about? I suppose we should get on to, well, the elephant in the room that's currently sat straight behind Sean. Can you tell us a little bit about those bad boys? These bad boys, uh, these are four Pascal Titan X's. Pascal. 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 Not just any Titan X. Pascal's. <laughs> Pascal's Titan. His own personal Titan. It's, it's like Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> Pascal's Titan. Um, why are we going with the Titan? Uh, what is the Titan? First off, the what's Titan the Titan? Is, is the cream of the crop. It's, it's Nvidia's flagship graphics card. So if you're going to build an insanely powerful PC, you're going to put a Titan in it. That's the bottom line. So and we're not just going to put one Titan? We're not just going to put one Titan, we're going to put four Titans in. Four Titans. So why would anybody need four Titans? You wouldn't need four Titans. Okay. It's purely for benchmarking. So it needs to be, we're trying to eke as much power out as possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so all those components in that case can get really, really hot. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to kick out shit on heat. So we need to call it some way. Um, yep. What are your plans? Uh, so what I want to do is a dual loop liquid cooling system. So when you say dual loop, you mean that they're two, it's almost like having two separate cooling two systems. Two separate cooling systems installed, right. yeah. So we've got two pumps in there, two reservoirs, you know, completely separate loops. We're going primarily with, uh, we're going to go with EK. Um, I think it's one of the most popular manufacturers on the market. Plexi water blocks. So we can see the water going through essentially. And then we're going to fill it with Mayhem's Aurora. Why are we going for that cool? What's the Because about it, basically it's got nanoparticles within the coolant, so you can see the particles flowing around the loop. So it looks awesome. Theoretically, it's going to be like almost like a, it's just going to be like a swirling maelstrom a of swirling maelstrom of, of like awesome. cloudy, yeah. awesome stuff. Yeah. Radiators, 480 mil, you say? Yeah. So they're going to need fans to exhaust some of this heat, right? Yeah, of course. Um, so, which ones are we going to go for? What are we going to use? So, we've decided to go with the Scythe Ultra K's 3000 RPMs. So, these are sort of primed for water cooling systems. They, they're fast, they're loud, they're bigger than normal fans, they're quite chunky. 3000 RPM? Yeah. So, you'd expect normal PWM fan to spin, what, 1200, 1200? Yeah, I think sort of 1200's kind of around about... Jeez. Like a quiet fan, so these are these are going to wow. be like turbines. These are these are loud, and we're going to have eight in total. So it's going to sound like a fucking helicopter. It's going to sound loud. It's, it's going to take it's off. It's going to take off. It's going to rustle some papers. <laughs> rustle some jimmies. <laughs> it's going to rustle some jimmies. My jimmies are seriously rustled right now. <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of custom braiding on the cables because it's just three three cables: a red, a uh, black, and a yellow cable. So we're going to just sleeve them. Hide them away on the back so it looks a little bit prettier. Definitely. Yeah. Hide your ugly family members away. Hide them the back. back. Hide them away. Put everything. Back. Tuck them so away. This case is so big, you could put one of your family members <laughs> in the back with the radiators. It'd get pretty warm, like, but you know, yeah. might be worth it. Why not? Depends how much you like family. Why do I keep talking about family? This okay. system is going to be so mad, even the fan controls have heat sinks. Yeah. But let's, just, let's just let that sink in. The that, fan let controller. Let that heat sink in. Let that heat sink in. <laughs> but then expel it with a 3000 RPM yeah. fan. Yeah. <laughs> now we get on to the most important part of the video. If you're ever in any doubt, the Titans aren't the main part of this video. The Titans, nobody cares about Titans. RGB. All of the RGB. It's the year 2000. All of the, it, it's 2017. It would not be complete without RGB. <laughs> so, Sean talks through it, what are we doing? So, how are we making this RGB? RG, how are we gonna RGB it? We're gonna put two NZXT Hue kits in, um, so we're going to have one in the front and one in the back. Uh, to top it off, we're going to have two exhaust fans put in there as well, the brand new NZXT AAR 140mm fans. 140. So Big. we're going we're gonna to hook it all up to these uh, Hue systems, link them together in Windows uh, with the CAM software that's free to download, and then we're going to 
RGB the fuck up. You're gonna have the RGB pinging off all those particles in the fluid. Yeah, yeah. It's... You're gonna have the RGB from the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all the all the the, the water blocks are all plexi as well and, and nickel, so through. it's all just gonna be shining. Spinning through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. RGB nonsense. It's gonna be sick. It's not nonsense. It's, it's not serious, nonsense. serious stuff. RGB. Yeah. Serious <laughs> business. I love RGB. I it's the best thing. Yeah. PC Master Race. So we know what's going in it. In case you've forgotten, we've got the best chip, mm -hmm. the RGB lighting. Yep. We've got the best board. We've got four Titans, four Titans. Four titans. We've got 128 gig of 3200 speed RAM. We've got 1600 watts of pure EVGA power. We've got RGB lighting. Yeah. We've got water cooling from EK and from Bits Power. We've got storage from Seagate and Samsung, 24 TVs in total. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Sean's gonna go build it. Lock coming soon. Stay tuned. <laughs>